Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm here with another travel themed layout for the Pink Fresh Studio design team. And out of my two travel layouts that I've created this month using the new Out and About collection, this was actually the first one I made. And so when I filmed this, I did a quick little show of all of the embellishments and things before I opened them. So there are so many cute things, puffy stickers, there are frames, there are cardstock stickers, layered uh, dimensional stickers, epoxy stickers, these really pretty green aqua color foam alpha stickers, and just a ton of cute things, lots of die cuts. And I was inspired to use this paper because I'm going to be scrapping these two photos of me and my husband taking a road trip and so I thought this paper was cool because it looks kind of like a road map and it's called scenic route and again like I said it's part of the out and about collection and this is a new collection from pink fresh studio and it is perfect for any kind of travel themed layout so I just wanted to kind of rip and tear this paper I just wanted basically a diagonal design so I just kind of tore a chunk of it off and then I'm going to stick it down to some white card stock this is going to allow me to have a lot of white space to do some mixed media but it's also going to have a lot of pattern and it's going to just contribute to the whole idea of travel and road trip um, there's also a lot of things for uh, flying I believe there's some things for uh, taking a train and lots of things for road trips and so um, what I'm going to do is just take some white gesso and sort of coat a lot of this paper with it and so I can start to use some of the watercolors so I'm going to use these two pictures and I printed them in color because they were just too pretty not to especially the one of the sky and the road this is from a little over a year ago my husband and I flew to Las Vegas for a couple days and then we drove from Vegas to Phoenix for creativation and so it was fun to see the sights because we live in Florida and so it was really fun to see the desert and the mountains and just drive it took us about four and a half hours and uh, it was just fun to see uh, how everything looks so different than what we're used to so you kind of see my pictures there and now I'm going to work on the background. I, I really wanted to echo all of the blue that is in the photos and also in the embellishments. There's a lot of aqua, a navy blue, and just lots of really pretty blues. And so I am going to use a mixture of sky blue, which is that really pretty turquoise type color, and mix it with a little bit of the aquamarine and a little bit of the sapphire. Now, if you've never used the Pink Fresh Studio watercolors, they are very bold, very concentrated. And so a little tiny bit goes a long way. And you can really get a lot of different colors out of the basics because they blend really well and they mix really well to create new colors and so all I'm doing here is kind of dabbing a little bit on the paper and then spraying it with some water and then just kind of turning the paper this way and that way and letting it run and I know this is pattern paper and it's not really meant for a lot of liquid um, the cardstock that I'm using is basil marshmallow, so it's pretty thick and it can handle a little more water than your average pattern paper. But the gesso that I added before I started this really helps to toughen up the paper. It helps to create a barrier between the liquid and the paper and it allows the, the paper or the paint not to just soak right through immediately it allows it to kind of run and blend and I always know that there's going to be a little bit of warping or um, you know bending of the paper and to me that doesn't bother me because I think it just adds to the interest it adds to the texture of the uh, the layout and if it bothers me too much I just wait until it dries and then I'll lay it flat on my desk and lay some really heavy paper pads on top of it overnight and that helps to flatten it out some too so uh, it doesn't really bother me like I said if it's kind of wrinkled um, this blue here is the sapphire and I just used just a little dab of it and watered it down to add some splatters and this is mostly going to be just behind where the photos are and so I love how that looks and now I'm going to come in with 
this pattern paper here. It's got a lot of cut aparts. And uh, in this collection, there's a lot of that golden orangey yellow color. There's a lot of a orangey reddish color and lots of shades of blues and greens. And so I kind of wanted to pull all of those into this layout. If you follow me, you know I love to create girly pages. I love using pinks and purples and yellows and aquas. And so this was fun for me to get out of my normal color scheme and to create something that's not all girly. And I really enjoyed doing it. So all I'm doing here is tearing and cutting some of the papers to layer behind the photos there just to start to pull in some other colors. And um, I'm going to also incorporate these. I've used these on a layout from last month. These are the Alpha. Alpha. Of course they're Alphas. They're letters. They're called the um, Adore Alpha stamp and die set. I'm not using the stamps. I'm just using the dies. And the cool thing about these letter dies is you get the actual letter, but then it also cuts this really thin outline of the letter. And so I chose another pattern paper that's like a really deep aqua, almost like a dark teal. And I just want to use the skinny outlines and I want to use these sort of tucked behind the photos. And so I created the word Vegas and the word Phoenix. And I want these to be kind of subtle background pieces. Um, I'm going to wind up gluing these down and then gessoing over them so they're not as dark but I really love how they look. They are really fun. And like I said, you can use the actual chunky letter or the outline. So it's kind of get a double, uh, double effect there. So here I am just going through everything. There are so many cute things. Everything I looked at matched. Everything I looked at worked. And it was really hard to decide what to use because I liked everything. Um, I just sort of tried to narrow things down by color. Uh, I tried to stick away, or stick away, stay away from anything that would clash with the photos. I wanted things to stand out. And so I went with some red things, some yellow things. And I'm going to go very simple with the title, Road Trip. But I'm going to wind up moving it over a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is glue down these letters. Now what I'm using here, this is something I've had in my stash for a while. It's from Thermaweb. And it is basically a big 8x10 sheet of little teeny tiny sticky dots. And so you stick something on that sheet and then when you peel it up it is loaded with little sticky dots. And so it's perfect for little skinny things like this that are really hard to add glue to. So you can see what I did there. I just glued them down and then kind of smudged some gesso over them to kind of fade them out. Because like I said I just wanted that to be something in the background and I wanted it to be kind of underneath the pictures. You can still tell what it says but I didn't want it to be my title. I just wanted that to be on there so you can kind of see where we were and then where we were going. So I'm going to start to glue down a little bit of the embellishments that I've picked out. I'm going to use this tag. There's a whole set of tags and this one says exploring. And I just like how it looks sticking out the left side of the photo there. And so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that adorable little car because we were driving. And um, I'm going to stick some cord here through this tag. I always like to finish off tags with some thread or some cord or something because I think it just gives them a finished look. And then I'm going to come in with some thread from my stash. And I'm going to use some of the, the darker blue to kind of darken up the background a little bit since I've got all the lighter blues. And I'm really liking how this is looking. It's it's really a simple design, you know, nothing too crazy, but I just like the way it's kind of flowing together. I love that background paper. You know, this the second you look at this layout, you know it's about travel. So that's a fun paper to use. Now I am going to go ahead and um, add some more thread over to the right. Again, it's that darker blue color just to add a little bit of the darker color there. And then I'm going to continue to go through embellishments because I would work on it and then I would take a break and come back and see something different that I didn't see the last time. And yeah, it's just one of those things where there are so many bits and pieces that you have to just kind of pick a couple and leave the rest because you want to use it all at one time. 
Has that ever happened to you? That happens to me all the time. Especially the first time I use a collection. Everything, it's overwhelming because everything is, is so good and it just all coordinates. So I'm going to start to work on the title. I did add that puffy sticker that says Adventure, and then I'm going to work on Road Trip. And I'm going to tuck the R and the O kind of underneath where the page is torn. And I am going to wind up having to glue that down because I used gesso, and things do not like to stick to gesso because it has texture and it's a little bit gritty. But I am going to go with Road Trip as the title, clean and simple. And I'm going to add a couple more little bits and pieces at the top of the pictures, below the pictures, and then a couple more things over to the right of the title. I'm trying to add little pops of yellow around the page, little pops of the red, just to kind of um, brighten things up because there's a lot of blue and green going on. I did get my ruler out to make sure the title was straight because I wanted it to be very very straight because if I just go by my eyesight I will 100% glue something down crooked that's why I always use a ruler to draw out my lines for my journaling because <laughs> I write either uphill or downhill and I decided since I had this big open space over here to the right I wanted to do a lot of journaling more than I usually do so I use my ruler like I said to draw in some lines very lightly with a pencil and then I'm going to go in and write my journaling out by hand and I like to use a fine tip sharpie I have to be really careful sometimes though when I'm writing over gesso because it does want to you know, almost sometimes it does mess up the tip of my pen, but if I write really softly, I can make it make it work. So I got all the journaling done. I'm going to come in with a couple more little things here and there, some puffy stickers, some epoxy stickers. And like I said, I'm trying to get some yellow and some red and some navy over on the right. Same thing over here on the left. Just want different pops of those colors. This is a little puffy sticker of some mountains, and I thought that was perfect. So I'm going to add that right there underneath that little car. And I'm getting close to being finished here, I think. Oh, I do add some... Um, oh, wait. No, I don't. I thought I did. Nope, that was just one. I was thinking I used enamel dots, but that's on my other layout. Anyway, here's the final project. I uh, really love how this turned out. It was fun to make. Like I said, there's so many awesome things in this collection. So if you have some travel photos that you've been wanting to scrap, then check this collection out. I did do some stitching, you can see there, with some yellow thread with my uh, sewing machine. Just some back and forth and a little bit of zigzag in a couple spots just to give it some more detail. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the products or techniques, all of these, uh, all of the uh, collection and these uh, alpha dies are available in the Pink Fresh Studios shop. So check that out and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a great week.